Okay, what is going on guys? Alex7 here and welcome back to another Test Drive Unlimited 2 video. And today, we're going over the Q1 2023 update for Project Paradise 2. If you don't know what that is, that is actually the online mod server for TD2. So, without further ado, let's get straight on into this update. Now, this update actually hasn't gone live yet, but when it does, it's going to come with a ton of new features. You guys can see bug fixes. We also got login issues fixed, creating double database player profiles and lockout player, club joining, club creation, invites, member cards, club leaving, club ranking, uh, club search, and added missing search filters. So to add also, we also got my to do live is now working for all accounts. So that's really cool to hear. Weather improvements plus real time settings changeability, lobby session race time improvement plus real time settings changeability, uh, in game unknown player map crash with more than 34 players fixed. Then uh, some new features that were added to the server. So you got server-side DLC unlockability, server-side physics calculation, which means that for those of you who probably are trying to cheat in a game, it's not going to go too well for you. Now you also have real-time notifications, uh, friend search, improved banning system, better moderation features, house invites. Yes, guys, house invites is finally coming to Project Paradise 2 and TD2 Online. Now you also have the server side car dealer, which is pretty cool. I'll explain all this later on in the video. This is just a quick uh, patch note look over. Then uh, the Hall of Fame and CRC is not working and the ORC is not working as well. So we can actually have officially published Project Paradise 2 races. Pretty cool. Um, now let's actually go into the features in detail. Okay, so first, server side dealerships. Now the first thing you guys are gonna see is you have the Zondas on the right and the left of you. Then you also have the Alpha Males, Nothing really too unexpected in this dealership so far. But now if you leave this, and obviously it's not really set up right now, this is just the uh, test server that I'm on. If you leave this and you actually join back into the dealership, if you remember the area that the cars were in, it's actually changed around. Just to show you a quick example of how this actually works. Now, the whole features of this can go a lot further. You can have exclusive cars added to the dealerships. You guys remember, this is not the same. The cars are actually swapped around. So this is different. This is pretty cool. Again, this adds a ton of replayability and new interesting features that could be added to TD2 that was never added before. So. Pretty cool, now let's go on to the next feature. Okay, so the CRC, AKA the Community Racing Center. You guys remember this, a pretty cool feature in Test Drive Unlimited 2. Now what has actually been done here is that you can actually now load up ORC races once they're actually implemented or once they're added into the game. And you can also now have leaderboards. So guys, it's a lot more online functionality. We're slowly getting there to getting a fully functional online Test Drive Unlimited 2 game. All we need now is poker which we don't know when it's going to come, but bro, once poker drops, it is, guys, it's going to be crazy. So yeah, as you can see, ORC is going to be working once you actually have ORC stuff posted. Uh, the private challenges, again, is going to be working once you actually have some post one. And of course, you also have the uh, regular one. Now, let's check out house invites. You guys can see Dev Cooksey, who is actually the guy that has created Project Paradise 2. He invites me over to his house. We're also going to see Matt, which, by the way, Matt did a very funny developer interview video. I'll leave that in the description below for you guys to check out. Just to give you a backstory. But here we are, Cooksey's house, guys. And as you can see, he's right there along with Matt. Now, I don't know how many people you can invite to the house. I honestly forget. But best believe when my birthday happens, we're going to have to do a house party live stream we're gonna have to guys it's, it's bound to happen so that's pretty cool you can change the flooring and it does actually sync to the players as well pretty cool depending on what mod pack you have this may or may not glitch now i can see two vehicles the mitsubishi gsr and also the uh toyota sprint to Toreno. now the issue here is i don't think these are actually the cars that cooksey has in the house whether that will be fixed by the time it comes out i'm unsure but nonetheless guys Again, it's working so far. Pretty cool. I think if you do have the mod pack installed, you might be seeing different cards depending on if your friend has or not. Maybe you'll see a green land. See, I'm not too certain. But yeah, beautiful house invites, guys. Project Paradise 2 coming in Q1 2023. Now, let's take a look at another feature. And I think this one is going to be a big one clubs so here we are welcome to the clubhouse in test drive unlimited 2 now you probably already see my youtube shorts about this but nonetheless this is going to be the new q1 2023 project paradise 2 update it's pretty self-explanatory if you play td2 chances are you might have been in a club if you weren't and you missed out i do feel bad for you because this was a very fun system now i'm gonna skip past all this but you can create your own club all that is back as usual 
and everything else works. You can invite people to your club, you can donate money to your club. However, club versus club functionality is not yet implemented, but when it does, I cannot wait to actually first all of you guys in club versus club races. I have a ton of ideas for content and I cannot wait for this. Hopefully I can do all this before it's USC releases. Fingers crossed, I mean, I'm sure we will. I, I doubt we'll uh, see TDSC for a very long time, guys. That's probably October to December later this year. But taking a look, you can also upgrade your club, guys. That does work. And you also have access to your garages. So when you did upgrade your clubs in TD2, you actually gain access to all the vehicles that you could buy. Again, that being the Ferrari, the Gumpert, the Lotus, as well as the Wiesman. So those four cars are available. You can still actually purchase them, unlock them leave them from your garage drive around in them that actually all still works that's all of the features that is going to be coming in the q1 2023 update for project paradise 2 guys really excited for it to drop and of course when it does i will be making a how to install project paradise 2 video i know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do that it is coming once this update drops i will do it for you guys trust me you already know what it is i'm x7 if you did enjoy this video i highly suggest you check out this video that i'm probably gonna put up on the screen right right here man it's it's gonna be right here guys yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in right here. You know what it is. I'm out seven. Peace.